Welcome to another episode on Soil and Crop Central, the place where dirt meets passion and green dreams come alive. If you've ever stood in your garden holding a handful of rich, dark earth and wondering, is this humus or just compost? You're not alone. That question stumps even seasoned gardeners. And here's the thing, knowing the difference can actually change the way your plants grow, thrive, and yield. So today we're getting to the root of it all digging deep into the science and soul of soil to finally settle the debate between humus and compost once and for all. Now let's not waste a single seed of time. Let's dive straight in and unlock the earthy secrets that could revolutionize your garden. Humus is often called the black gold of soil, and for good reason. It's not something you can make overnight or even see with the naked eye in its purest form. Humus is the final stable product of organic matter that has decomposed fully over years, sometimes even decades. It's what's left when microorganisms have broken down plant and animal material to a point where it no longer decomposes further. This decomposed material becomes incredibly stable, rich in carbon, and chemically complex. The result? A dark, crumbly, sponge-like substance that looks a bit like coffee grounds and smells pleasantly earthy. But humus isn't just pretty soil fluff. Its ability to hold water and nutrients makes it essential in helping plants grow stronger and more resilient. When added to the soil, humus acts like a magnet for vital nutrients, potassium, calcium, magnesium, making them easier for plant roots to absorb. It also creates a loose and friable soil structure, meaning air and water can move through the soil with ease. That's why humus-rich soil is often praised for its superb drainage and aeration, both crucial for healthy root systems. Now let's talk compost. Compost is what humus starts as, but it's not quite there yet. It's the midway point in the journey of organic material breaking down. Think of it like dough before it becomes bread. Compost is made by collecting organic waste, kitchen scraps, leaves, grass clippings, and other biodegradable matter, and letting it decompose under controlled conditions. A well-balanced compost pile will heat up due to microbial activity, breaking down materials rapidly into a nutrient-rich amendment you can use in your garden. However, compost is still actively decomposing. That means it continues to change and evolve even after you apply it to your soil. Unlike humus, which is chemically stable, compost is dynamic, constantly shifting in its microbial life and nutrient profile. It's important to note that while compost is a treasure trove of nutrients and an incredible conditioner for your soil, it can also carry pathogens if not processed correctly. That's why it's vital to let compost mature fully before using it around edible plants or seedlings. Properly aged compost is dark, crumbly, and has an earthy smell, but it's still not humus. Now here's where gardeners often get tripped up. Humus and compost may look and feel similar, but their differences matter a great deal when it comes to soil health. Humus is fully decomposed, which means it won't break down further, while compost is still decomposing. This single fact changes how each affects your garden over time. Because humus is chemically stable, it lasts much longer in the soil. It doesn't leach away in rain or degrade quickly with time. Compost, on the other hand, continues to release nutrients as it decomposes, but it eventually disappears unless constantly replenished. Another key difference lies in microbial life. Humus is teeming with beneficial microbes that have already reached a kind of equilibrium, a state of microbial balance that supports plant health naturally. Compost, especially if immature, can contain a mix of both beneficial and potentially harmful microbes. That's why compost must be carefully monitored and matured properly before it's added to garden beds. In terms of chemistry, humus has a high carbon-to-nitrogen ratio. This makes it more stable, acting like a long-term savings account for your soil's fertility. Compost with a lower carbon-to-nitrogen ratio is more like a checking account, ready to use but not designed for long-term nutrient storage. Think of humus as your soil's retirement fund. It doesn't just give your plants a boost, it builds the soil over time. One of the biggest perks of humus is water retention. In sandy soils, it helps trap moisture. In clay soils, it creates pores for water to flow. Either way, humus helps regulate your garden's moisture balance, saving you water and giving your plants a more consistent growing environment. Humus also prevents erosion by binding soil particles together. This means your garden won't wash away in heavy rain or lose valuable topsoil in wind. And let's not forget nutrient cycling. 
Humus helps lock nutrients in place and makes them available to plant roots when needed. This cuts down on fertilizer needs and keeps your soil's ecosystem thriving naturally. While you can't exactly make humus from scratch at home in a few weeks, you can certainly set the stage for it by making and using compost regularly. Compost acts like a starter culture for humus. When you add compost to your garden beds, you're feeding soil microbes and encouraging them to break it down over time into humus. To create compost that leads to rich humus down the road, aim for a balanced mix of green materials, like vegetable scraps and fresh grass, and brown materials, such as dried leaves, straw, and cardboard. Keep the pile moist, but not soaked. The rule of thumb is to keep it about as damp as a wrung-out sponge. Turn it regularly to introduce oxygen and speed up the breakdown process. Over time, with patience and consistency, your compost will continue its journey and slowly become humus beneath your feet. There's no exact formula to turn compost into humus instantly, but if you're looking to use compost tea as a quick soil booster, here's a tested recipe. Mix one part mature compost with five parts water and let it steep for 24 to 48 hours. Stir occasionally. Once ready, strain and apply to soil or as a foliar spray. This doesn't create humus directly but it helps activate microbial life and sets the process in motion. The truth is, you don't have to choose between humus and compost. They work best together. Compost brings a fresh supply of nutrients and organic matter into your soil. Over time that compost breaks down further, feeding soil life and slowly becoming humus. It's a cycle worth investing in. The smartest gardeners are the ones who see compost as a short-term gain and humus as a long-term strategy. By building your soil with both, you're creating a living foundation that gets stronger, healthier, and more self-sustaining each season. And isn't that what every gardener wants? A thriving garden that works with nature, not against it? Thanks for tuning into Soil and Crop Central, where we don't just garden, we grow smarter every day. If this guide helped clear the muddy waters between compost and humus, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with a fellow gardener. Let's grow better, together.